Okay, here we are for Unit 3, Lesson 3. This is probably one of the things that y'all love the most is angle word problems. Okay, so angle word problems are really some kind of fun problems to do because you have to really twist your brain around sometimes to get them to work. But here's what we got. Example 1. They want you to find the measure of an angle if its measure is 50 degrees more than the measure of its supplement. So once again, a supplement means that the angle adds up to 180 degrees with the other angle. So since one angle is 50 degrees more than the measure of a supplement, then we'll have to figure out what this is. So we're going to use some algebraic representation. So first thing we do is we define x to be the measure of the angle. Okay? So the next thing we do is we find out that 180 minus x is equal to the measure of the supplement. Okay, so these two angles added together will add up to 180. Okay? So here's what we got. We know that x is the angle that we're looking for, so it's equal to 180 minus x plus 50. Okay? So we just simply do the algebra here. So the first thing we're going to do is combine the like terms and move this x to the other side. So this gives us x plus x equals 230. So 2x is equal to 230. Divide both sides by 2 gives us that x is 115 degrees. Okay? All right. That's how you do one of these. This is a fairly simple one. So let's take a look at example 2. Find the measure of an angle if its measure is 19 degrees less than its complement. So the complement means that the two angles together add up to 90. So this means that x is going to equal the angle that we're interested in, which is the measure of the angle. 90 minus x is the measure of its complement. So what we're going to do is set up our equation which says that x is equal to 90 minus x, which is the complement minus the 19. Okay, so we're going to combine like terms and move this x to the other side. So this gives us x plus x is equal to 90 minus 19, so 2x is equal to 71. Divide both sides by 2 gives us that x is equal to 71 over 2, which is 35 and a half degrees. This problem and the previous one were pretty close to the same thing. It's just one is using the fact that you're subtracting. The previous one was using the fact that we were adding. Okay, let's look at example 3. Okay, find the measure of an angle if its measure is 40 degrees less than twice its supplement. Okay, supplement once again means that the angle that's added to it will add up to 180 degrees. So this means that we're going to use x for the measure of the angle that we're looking for. And 180 minus x is equal to the measure of the supplement. So when we set this up, this is what we get. x is equal to twice the supplement, which is 2 times the 180 minus x, because 180 minus x is the supplement and it said it's 40 less than that, so we're going to subtract the 40. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute here. So this gives us x is equal to 360 minus 2x minus 40. We're going to combine these two like terms and move the x to the other side. So this gives us 3x is equal to 320. Divide both sides by 3 gives us that x is equal to 320 over 3, which comes out to 106.6 repeating degrees. Okay, the bar over the 6 means that that 6 repeats as far as you want to carry. Okay, example 4. Is it possible to have an angle whose supplement is 20 degrees more than twice its complement? Okay. So this means that the supplement it, uh, to the original angle is 20 degrees more than what it takes to add to the angle to get 90, okay? So this time it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So x is the measure of the angle that we're interested in. 90 minus x is the measure of the complement. And 180 minus x is the measure of the supplement. 
Okay, so we set this up the way it says here in the words. 180 minus x, which is the supplement, is equal to 2 times the complement plus 20. Okay, so we're going to do this distribution in here and then we're going to start doing the algebra. Okay, so this gives us 180 minus x equals 180 minus 2x plus 20. And what they're doing here is if you have exactly the same term on both sides of the equal sign, if they have the same sign and everything, then you can just strike them out because when you move them, they will take each other away. Okay, so this gives us that what we're going to end up with is we're going to move this x to this other side. So this is going to give us 2x minus x is equal to 20. When we subtract the x, that gives us x is equal to 20. Okay, so the measure of the angle that we're interested in would be a 20 degree angle. Okay, so yes, x is the measure of the angle and it's positive. If it had been negative or greater than 90 degrees, the answer would have been no. Okay, so you would have had to have a 90 degree, this should not be 900, it should be 90 degrees. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. If you've got any questions about this, be sure you show up with the, with the notes in the parking lot tomorrow, and we will be working on those before we start the work. Thank you very much. Bye.